Pilot Mountain has served as a landmark and a guidepost since humans first laid eyes on its exposed summit, which towers 1,400 feet above the Yadkin Valley. Last fall, on November 27th, the Saturday after Thanksgiving, a fire was spotted off the Grindstone Trail. It spread rapidly, fueled by fallen leaves and debris that covered the forest floor. It would burn some 1,400 of the park's 3,700 acres, and the cost to suppress the fire would run to a half a million dollars. The blame, officials said later, falls on careless campers who were in an unauthorized area during dry conditions. But the fire, no matter what the cause, has its benefits. It burned off dead vegetation and many live trees too. And when trees fall, sunlight will make it to the forest floor and allow for new growth. Signs of growth, as expected, began to emerge with the spring. Crocuses and lilies are sprouting, particularly on lower levels. Leaves and trees are budding once again, but it will require the attention of all of us to let it grow in peace. You followed the fire. Um, how quickly do you expect to see it recover? Well, they say it's going pretty quick. I, I don't know. Um, I've seen the poplars and the red buds are, are already you know, coming back. So we'll find out in the next few weeks how many were other trees were damaged badly enough to, you know, need to be removed and replaced by new growth. Seems appropriate at uh, Easter to come up and look around and watch stuff re regenerate. Yeah, but I was here the first day the park opened. Uh, curiosity got the better of me. <laughs> What'd you see that day? Uh, about what you're seeing now, it's just charred in places and then you look just a little ways over and you'll see green, you know, vibrant pines and things still growing. My understanding is it was started by some careless campfire. That's what I've heard. But then it's all part of the cycle of nature anyhow, so. Yeah. Still hate to see it started by accident or clumsiness.